Welcome back to ASVAB Roadmap. In this video, we're going to talk about decimal division. So let's jump right into it. One common type of arithmetic problem on the ASVAB involves dividing numbers that contain decimals. Keeping track of the decimal places can complicate a division problem, so get rid of the decimal places before you divide. You can accomplish this by multiplying by 10 as many times as necessary. When you multiply a number with decimals by 10, simply move the decimal point one place to the right. When multiplying numbers without decimals by 10, add a zero at the end. As an example, 1.22 times 10 equals 12.2. Take 12.2 and then multiply by 10 again. It'll equal 122. Now take the number 122 and multiply by 10 one more time. Now you have 1,220. It's as simple as that. Now let's do a problem and show you how this works. When presented with the decimal division question, you should write the division problem as a fraction. Then, you will move the decimal points in the denominator and the numerator the same number of places to the right, adding zeros as necessary, until you have completely gotten rid of any decimal points. Scientific Notation Scientific notation is a method of writing very large, and very small numbers that also involves moving decimal points. The first part of a number in scientific notation will be equal to or greater than 1 and less than 10. The second part of the number will be a power of 10. For powers of 10, the exponent is the number of zeros the number has when written out. For example, 10 to the fourth power equals 10,000. The fourth power means you multiply by 10 four times. We will speak more about exponents in the next video. But for now, let's stick to scientific notation. So for numbers written in scientific notation, where the first number always has exactly one digit to the left of the decimal point, the long version of the number can be written out by moving the decimal point to the right by the same number of places as the value in the exponent. As you can see here, all you have to do is move the decimal point four times, and you have your new number. Scientific notation also uses negative exponents to indicate the proper placement of the decimal point in a very small number. A negative x point in scientific notation means that you move the decimal point to the left. Once the decimal point has been moved as far left as possible, start adding zeros to the right of the decimal. As an example, we have 4.321 times 10 to the negative second power. This equals 0.04321. For negative exponents, we just move the decimal point to the left, in this case, two spaces. And after we do that, we put a zero in front of the decimal point. Alright guys, that was our video on decimal division. Now we're going to go more into exponents inside the next video. I'll see you there.